Hey boys and girls and welcome to language lesson 128. Let's go ahead and practice some diagramming. Take out a piece of loose leaf paper, write your heading, and I will show you the sentences you need to diagram. Okay boys and girls, go ahead and diagram these four sentences on your notebook paper. Make sure you put your heading, today's date, your name, the subject in the middle, Go ahead and label it Lesson 128. Diagram all four of these sentences and you're going to upload them to Class Dojo or to Google Classroom if that's working already. And make sure you pause the video while you're doing this. When you're ready, you can unpause it and we can move on. Boys and girls, imagine with me. We're all together and we decide that we're going to take our shoes off and have no socks and no shoes. Close your eyes and imagine that. Ooh, I bet it would be pretty stinky. Let's not do that. But let's imagine that you, I instruct you to put on one shoe. Put on your right shoe on your right foot. Go ahead and do it. Well, now Mrs. Bess is gonna ask you to put on, put your left foot in your right shoe. Can you do it? Can you put your left foot in your right shoe? Probably not, because your right foot is already in that shoe. Well, two feet cannot fit in one shoe. Think about this one. What if you were to put on your pants and put two legs into one pant leg? Could you do it? Probably not. Maybe if you were wearing stretch pants, you could, or, or basketball shorts that stretch real big. But most of the time, you couldn't fit two legs into one pant leg. How about your sleeve? Could you put two arms into one sleeve? You probably could, but you would stretch it out. And it's not meant for two arms to go in one sleeve. Well, what we're going to talk about today is just like that. It is a word or a group of words that are okay to use in a sentence, but you cannot use more than one of those in a sentence. Only one can be used in a sentence. Let's talk today about what we call negative words. Look up here at the board. You will see some negative words. And in these words, only one of them is allowed in a sentence. Let's say these words with Mrs. Best. Negative adverbs. Repeat after me. Not. N apostrophe T. Never. Hardly. Scarcely. No. None. No. One. Nothing. Nobody. These words are allowed to be in a sentence, but they are not allowed to be more than one in a sentence, just one. So do not use more than one of these sentences, one of these words in a sentence. Let's see how this looks in an example. Oops. Let's remember, we do not want to use more than one negative word in a sentence. Let's think about my first sentence. He didn't want no potato chips. Boys and girls, do you see two negative words in our sentence? Yes, you should have found two negative words in our sentence. Those negative words are didn't and no. Didn't and no. Well, what we can do is we can change one of those because the other one can stay. We can change the word no to any. That's how we fix that problem. He didn't want any potato chips. Any is not a negative word, so it is okay to use it instead of the word no. How about she hardly never eats pizza? Do you see two negative words? Yes, you should have found two negative words, hardly, and never. We are going to change one of those words to make it a correct sentence. Go ahead and see if you can change one of those words 
to make it a correct sentence. Only one negative word in a sentence. Did you pick hardly? We just took it right out. We didn't replace it, we just take it right out. Now read the sentence correctly. It says, she never eats pizza. Sounds correct, doesn't it? Good job. Let's try some more. I haven't no lunch money. Can you say, I haven't no lunch money? No, you should have found two negative words in that sentence. Let's see how we fix it. You are going to change this to, I have no lunch money. Make sure you take out the N apostrophe T and make, I have no lunch money. Here's, and we are done for today. On your worksheet, go ahead and fill out, if you haven't already done so, the negative sentences. Make sure that you complete all of 128 worksheets.